last day before the race. The race is tomorrow. Tomorrow on Sunday. Today's Saturday. I need to go pick up my race packet. Yes, I'm running today. Just an easy 30, 40 minutes. Super chill. One, because I don't want to like, I can't like walk and go pick up this thing. It's like three miles away. I'm not walking over there. I'm not taking the metro. I don't have, I don't have time for that. Honestly, it's a lot quicker just to run. Two, because, I don't know, I, for me, I used to do like an easy 30, 40 minutes the day before the race. There's like a little shakeout. Yeah, running before the race, the day before the race. Um, it might seem weird to you. Some people like to take the day off before. I like to do it the day before because if I don't do something today, I go a little crazy because then I start thinking about the race. And then when you get like all pent up with like glycogen and energy and stuff, you start to... So as a little mental reward to myself, I'm only going, I, I'm going no faster than eight minute per mile pace and no longer than 40 minutes. So it's like I'm, it's like eating the whole dinner, but then like not getting the dessert. So the race tomorrow, I'll be able to run really fast. I would recommend doing your shakeout jog 24 hours almost to the dot from the start of your race. So right now it's 2 p.m. My race starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so I am not following my own advice. But I woke up at noon today, so that was already kind of... <laughs> I talk about why, but it's like for carbohydrate glycogen synthesis in this video. So far today I've had my delicious morning coffee. Two amazing muffins from this bakery around the corner. Caramel and raspberry. Normal day, man. Just running a little bit less and a little less hard than normal. Trying to, honestly, for me, trying to do things to just keep my mind off the race, relax, enjoy myself. Because the more you think about the race, the more you get amped up. And you want to get amped up, like, at the starting line. Not the day before the starting line. I made that mistake often when I was younger. Oh, look! Normally, I would race the boat. I'm not racing the boat. See, I hope I'm rewarded tomorrow for my good behavior right now. Really need a haircut today. It's just getting to the point where, like, I look in the mirror and it's going from like, oh, to like, you see it and you're like, mm, haircut. Ah. <laughs> oh. Starting lines there. Race packet pickup is here. That is the L'Ecole Militaire. That's the, you know. 748. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, monsieur. Yeah. Good night, Christophe. Oh, my God. Oh. Cool. Très bien. Ah, merci. Bonjour. Frenchest moment ever. There was water in the race pack, and I opened it, and it was fizzy water, and it went all over my hands and my camera. Oh, Paris. Just in case I didn't probably put that in context, the reason my bib number is so low and I get to go up to like the front of the line, the little premiere section, and my beautiful, sexy, amazing country flag is on there. Ah, Merco! And my très chic last name is all on my bib is because my qualification time was so fast. And yes, I am extremely happy and proud of that. <laughs> Having to support you guys here for a second. The day before a race, try and reduce the stress. Reduce the stress, reduce the anxiety. Don't worry about things in the future that you can't control. You know, you've put in months, weeks, years of training. Whatever happens on race day, happens on race day. The day before a race, that's what I try to do. I'll show up tomorrow, I could feel amazing or I could feel horrible. Oh, oh well, there's always another race. Unless you're like going to the Olympics and then in which case, it's in four years, man. So for tomorrow, I don't know if you guys can notice, but the weather kind of sucks. It's actually really hot. It's in the 60s, which is like the 20s and Celsius, which is perfect for going to the beach. It's miserable for racing. It really needs to be like in the 40s, which it was like two weeks ago. So I don't know what's going on here. Hopefully in the morning at 10, it'll be like slightly brisk. If not, then we'll just be running in hot conditions. But thankfully I lived for two and a half years in Southeast Asia where, the weather was abysmal. So I should be relatively familiar with it. Not acclimatized, but familiar. That's all I got for today. I will see you 
there tomorrow morning. Bye.